So the coronavirus has got everybody kind of ticked off. They got cabin fever and I hate being inside. So anyway, they're opening it back up. The first thing we're gonna go do is a go do a hunt. So we're up kind of where the Texas Hill Country and the Brush Country meet out of a little area called Concan, Texas. It's a beautiful area. It's hilly and flat at all the same time. And we're up here. This will be the first time I've ever been up here. We're at the Two Morrow Ranch. And what the two means, they're twin brothers, okay? And their last name happens to be Morrow. And these are young men that are doing a really good job and making a good name for themselves. And we're up here to go on a hog hunt. You might be wondering why I'm driving a different vehicle than him. I actually have to show a ranch right after this hunt. I do farm and ranch real estate and we're looking at some properties out in Sonora. So I figured I'm halfway there. I might as well bring my own car and go sell a ranch. Well, howdy. How are you? All right. So I can tell y'all are related. Hey, Wes. How are you? Wyatt Morrow. Hey, Wyatt. Nice I'm Keith you. Warren. My name is Weston Morrow. I'm Wyatt Morrow. And we're here at the Two Morrow Ranch. And we're very excited to have Maddie and Keith Warren out here to hunt some hogs here in Concan, Texas. This is Maddie Hi. right here. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, Hello. Maddie got her snake Hi. boots on. Yeah. No snakes are going to get <laughs> <Right>. me. <laughs> Mr. Warren brought Maddie. Now, this is his daughter. Beautiful young lady. You know, oh, she's very funny. Oh, super hilarious. creative with her words. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and and I mean, the funniest thing, she has a big pig living at her house. I know Keith was telling me about, you know, they have this big pig laying in their yard and. Yeah, my dad always jokes around when people say, well, how big is his belly? He goes, this pecker, she's close from the ground. <laughs> like, we got pigs on the ranch, but not in the, the backyard. <laughs> nothing like this. <laughs> no, it's a whole new ball game that we're talking oh, about. Oh man. But. You know, they're twins. You look at them, you think, oh, you can tell they're twins. Well, I'm a twin, okay? And so that's an immediate deal to start talking about. Say, hey, how many minutes apart are you? Which one kicked the other one out first, you know? And we start having some fun with it. Here, here's, so I'm three minutes older than my brother. It's like, it's like I tell everybody, I said, I got kicked out first, you know? Oh, yeah, I so I would say the story about how I met Keith, I actually watched The High Road. Great show. It's a wonderful show. Shows the outdoor truly, but, um, I really wanted to get him out here to see this place. You know, we got a beautiful place here at the Tumal Ranch. And I mean, it's just, you know, he's an outdoors guy. You know, he's very big into it. And I mean, he loves what he does. And that's the one thing that we love. You know, we take pride in that. And so does he. Those burgers for us? <laughs> for you, Maddie. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Yeah, fellas, I am really excited about being here. Yes, sir. We love that you're here. Thank you very much. And I am excited to get out of the house with this coronavirus deal, huh? Yeah, much needed. Y'all have another business entirely that is kind of like a, a supplement business to this yes. right down the road from here. And uh, I can't wait to go take a look at it. All right, so if you come up here to the Two Morrow Ranch, uh, right up the road out of Concan, Texas, is a place called Happy Hollow. And uh, if you like tubing, you like to see the prettiest part of Texas, the Frio River is right there. Okay, there's a cool little country store right here with everything a tourist could ever want. And then they've got houses uh, set up here, so it's very, very private. The water on the Frio is uh, crystal clear, it's beautiful. And so it's a beautiful setting and literally it's right up the road from the Two Morrow Ranch. Weston and Wyatt Morrow run this ranch and they do a great job. They're very young, but I'm so impressed with how hard they work and how well they manage the wildlife out here. They've got game cameras set up all over the ranch so they know what's hitting, what stands at what time. Yeah, so we got this, of course, the big board that comes in all by himself. Mm -hmm. And then this is another area that we have baited up. A lot of different colors and then different size. Nice. There's yes, a ton of them. Okay, so, I mean, even with it being as hot as it is, it looks like that's not impacting too much, but at nighttime, I mean, the, the whole deal is we've got the Pulsar gear so we can go out there and, and, and really put a hurting on them at night. But what I also did, I brought a, a, a pneumatic uh, crossbow. So while I'm using a modern sporting rifle, you know my dad likes to do the weird stuff. He's trying out something that's brand new. It's called the Steambow. It's actually an air-powered crossbow. All right, so you can hunt hogs in Texas with uh, any device, literally, that's uh, capable of killing them. And certainly this is something that uh, is capable of killing them. This contraption is a brand new crossbow on the market. It's unlike any other crossbow that I've ever shot, more than likely, and unlike any crossbow that you've ever seen before. It's called the Bulldog Excalibur 440 by Steambow. 
but it's pneumatically powered and, and that means the power of air. It has a 13 cubic inch air cylinder right here that takes compressed air. Uh, it has these little pistons up here in the front. The, the mechanics of it are basically up in the front. To cock this crossbow, all you've got to do is push this button right here in the front forward and it cocks just like that. So what it does is the compressed air pushes the limbs forward, which cocks the crossbow. And now we're gonna take a shot and see if we're on or not. And if we are, then it's gonna be time to go to the stand. Ho oh, ho, oh, dead nuts right there. What I like about this country is that if you closed your eyes and drop somebody off here, they'd open their eyes up and say, where am I? It sure doesn't look like Texas, it's that pretty. Exactly. We got a feeder up here. and The Reconic's been showing hogs coming here big time before dark. So anyway, uh, they don't have a stand set up. So I'm gonna sit in a lawn chair right over here underneath this cedar tree and wait for somebody to show up, see if I can stab them. Hogs have got a pretty decent uh, set of eyes on them, but they've got an unbelievable sense of smell, and so it's for that reason that even if the wind's good, I'm gonna spray down with scent killer just to make sure and knock off my human odor. And uh, meanwhile, Maddie is gonna wind up going about three miles that way. And she's got some pulsar gear, and she's gonna stay put till after dark, see what happens. We just dropped my dad off and got him situated in a little hide. Hopefully he'll get lucky. I've got some thermal on my gun, so we're gonna sit tight till after dark and see if we can get some pigs. A lot of times those hogs will get down these dark canyons like this because it's cool and they'll bed up, so I had to get in early. But I'm betting as soon as that sun goes behind the mountain, we're gonna start having some action. Okay, you could not ask for a more beautiful night. We're in one of my favorite parts of the state in the hill country. We're surrounded by beautiful hills and we've got a nice breeze in our favor. We're sitting over a corn feeder and we've been instructed to kill as many feral hogs as possible. So I'm hunting with an MSR. I got it topped off with a Pulsar Trail XP50 LRF, and that means laser rangefinder. It's got a rangefinder in it, which is awesome when you're hog hunting because you don't have a lot of depth perception when you're using thermal. So we're gonna sit tight till dark. I gotta be out of here early to go show a ranch in the hill country at like 5 a.m. So hopefully we can wrap it up early. If not, it's not a big deal because we got the thermal, but we're gonna have fun. The conditions are now good. The temperature started to drop. The sun has gone down behind the mountain. It's cooling off. The wind is still good. Everything is in our favor. Now it's just a matter of will they come in before dark. Can do the job so i guess we're just gonna sit tight wait till dark and see if some more pigs come in and then go try to find us a dead hog i felt good about that shot well i absolutely had a really good opportunity at that poor hog the problem is he was standing right behind that little cedar and all of a sudden he boogered and ran off now it's getting really close to dark and now's when they ought to be coming in for sure Everywhere I go, I know that the Lucas products are going to keep my farms working tip-top shape. 
Hunting season is in full effect at the ranch right now, and it's for that reason that everything needs a little bit more TLC. This door right here, you might be wondering, what are you doing with gun cleaner? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Do you hear how squeaky that is? That is very obnoxious when people are getting up at 5.30 in the morning to go hunt. We use Lucas CLP on all of our guns, but we also use it around the ranch. So I'm gonna spray this on the hinges. Wipe them down real quick. And now this door isn't gonna be so noisy. Voila, doesn't wake up everybody else who's successful on their hunt. So I recommend getting Lucas CLP. We use it on everything, not just our firearms. We use it all around the ranch. He's down. That is a dead pig. 65 yards, we got a dead piggy. It's a good evening right there. Hopefully some more will come in. All right, so there was literally no tracking with this hog right here. It dropped right in its tracks, and unfortunately, with the first hog I shot this afternoon, I did not recover it. This is a lot of thick brush, and I just didn't want to get snake bit, and it went further than anticipated, but that's okay. That's just part of hog hunting. Hogs have infested this area. They have taken over our land and they are the perfect thing to be hunting right now during this coronavirus craze because one, they fill our freezer and two, we're helping out the landowners in managing their population. So if you're looking for a place to hog hunt, go ahead and give Tomorrow Ranch a call. This is a beautiful piece of property and I've had a blast. I've got to give a plug too to this equipment. I couldn't have done it without this gun. It's decked out in this beautiful Timber Creek battle worn finish. And on top, I've got the Pulsar Trail XP50 LRF. It's got the laser rangefinder in it. And that was so helpful for me because I have really bad depth perception with thermal and it allowed for me to see it exactly what yard this pig was and take it down successfully. So go ahead and give Superior Outfitters a call if you'd like to get your rifle decked out with any of this beautiful gear. They're a one-stop shop and Tomorrow Ranch is a great place to test out your gear. So go ahead and give them a call too. Come on, Maddie. Don't have to tell me twice. Hey, Good <laughs> Lord. Yeah. How Perfect did you do? evening. Great. I've never seen so many pigs before in the whole country. Like it was insane. Really? Yeah, there were a ton. Yeah. So you're going to leave in the morning to go show some ranches? Mm-hmm sell some ranches. Hopefully sell some ranches. Well good. I think I'm gonna go and hunt for that boar. I had a boar come in tonight about 110, 120 pounds. But there was one little piece of cedar that came up and hit him. I mean he was right behind it. I couldn't see him with the camera. So I think you leave to go sell a ranch and I'm gonna go back to the same spot and try to kill him in the morning. That sounds like a plan. It'll make it more sweeter if you do kill him. Oh yeah. Early the next morning, I got in the exact same spot. And the wind, eh, the wind was not 
the best wind. Okay, I'll put it that way. I was sitting there thinking, okay, where's that boar? Where's that boar? And all of a sudden I look up, bingo, there he is. And he's looking right in my area. And I'm thinking, okay, I've got a reconnaissance camera on the other side. And uh, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, please come in. Please come in. And lo and behold, I get the best footage. I mean, he comes strolling in, strolling in. I'm still. I've got the crossbow up on the Kofiager, and I mean, I'm pointed in the right direction. And keep in mind, this steamboat, this is the first time I'm using it on an animal. And so I decided, okay, you know what? I'm gonna wait for him to turn broadside. And lo and behold, he turns broadside, and I send it. That arrow went through him like a hot knife through butter. Boy, that was sweet. Well, here he is. He's uh, my two morrow ranch boar. You know, this is the first time I've ever hunted up here, and uh, this is a really unique part of Texas in that it's a combination of the Texas Hill Country and uh, down on the south end of it, it's uh, got a lot of brush and flat uh, brush country. But this boar right here, what's cool about this guy, and it's on video, you see him coming in, you see him throwing that nose up, I mean, sniffing. Very much like a, a white-tailed deer does. Anyway, but he, uh, he turned sideways. I got everything positioned perfectly. You know, the Reconics showed, I don't know how many hogs hit in this spot, and I don't know why they didn't come in when I've been sitting here, but uh, it was just really a cool morning, and it's fixing to get about 95 degrees today, so we're gonna get this guy in, taken care of. If y'all want more information about the Two Morrow Ranch, you can contact my friends Wyatt or Weston, and they'll be happy to help you out. Right now, we're gonna get this guy taken care of, and see what the evening holds for us. On every single hunt, you know, I, I try to reflect and say, you know, what was the best part of the hunt? Was it the animal I took? Uh, was it the scenery? Was it the food? Was it the people? Man, I'll tell you what, it's always all the above. And so I want to reach out, even though we're in the COVID-19 social distancing bull crap, I want to reach out and want to hug everybody. I want to say thank you for watching our show. I want to say thanks to Weston and, and Wyatt, you know, and all the guys over there that made this possible at Tomorrow Ranch. I want to thank you. Having Maddie and Keith out here, you know, it's, it was an awesome experience and having them come out together was truly just amazing because, you know, like we said, we're a family ranch. Just having them together was just really, really great. Great time to just know each other and just kind of like it was meant to be. You know, it was just it was just something that we needed. And For I sure. feel like it's something that Keith and Maddie needed. Get away from the COVID-19, get away from that stuff. And it was a great connection. It was a great trip. You know, and Keith and Maddie, you know, it's all about the joy of the hunt. You know, we're about the joy of the hunt. And uh, we really hope that they can come back and see us again real soon. And we will be definitely looking forward to it. It's awesome to go to places like this and see other families that grew up hunting and how it's affected their relationships, like Weston and Wyatt Morrow, and how they take ownership in this ranch. And I got to spend time with my dad. And any time I get to spend with him in the outdoors, whether it's for one hunt or for a week of hunting, I love it. And I treasure that we can provide organic meat for our family and make memories together. You spell love, T-I-M-E, and this was some great T-I-M-E with my dad. If you're a hunter, I am for you, and you, and you, and you. I'm for everybody, just like SCI is for you. And it's for that reason that I encourage everybody to uh, unite. We're all hunters. In my entire career, I've been saying, let's unite, let's embrace one another, and look for that common thread that unites us in SCI. By becoming a member of SCI, what you're doing you're helping unite all hunters.